so my neighbor just decided to mow his lawn so um if you hear a lawnmower I'm really sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Zainab. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm in a very comfortable position. I'm in like a um, corner of my bed and it's just so cozy. Got my pillows around me. I got a triple mocha frappuccino. If you have not tried the triple mocha frappuccino from Starbucks, sis. I actually don't really like Starbucks to be honest. I think their coffee is overrated. I think their acais and all their lemonades and all their drinks are really overrated. But I really do love this triple mocha frappuccino. And I also got some pumpkin bread which is actually really good too so i'm here straight chilling i'm about to tell a story time and it's gonna be a juicy story time basically the story takes place at disney world out of all places yes disney world the happiest place on earth went sour me and my friend were we, we're always at disney world like when are we not at disney world we kind of like just spend the evening there we had some fun we ate good food we you know rode some rides and then we went home Throughout the day, um, you know, we were there, we had noticed that there was like a big, 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 big group of cheerleaders. This isn't uncommon at Disney World. A lot of times you'll see like big school groups, sports groups. So we saw like them throughout the day and my friend had noticed that, you know, these cheerleaders were kind of up to no good and um, <laughs> so were their chaperones. Um, she had noticed that there was, I guess, one of their chaperones or uh coaches or something was being really prejudiced racist towards this like spanish family i guess she heard them speaking spanish and she basically was like saying oh like go back to your country we speak english here da 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 da, da. wow like really sis like okay so she had heard that and i just kind of like she told me and i just kind of brushed it off and i was like oh wow that's so stupid like like that's so dumb of course someone who's threatened by immigrants would say some crap like that we brush it off and we just kept going about our day we had a really great day so we're gonna end the night by going to our very last ride which if you haven't heard it's called pirates of the caribbean my favorite ride at disney world um so we we're about to go on that and then go home as we were getting on the ride we noticed like there were some like maybe like five we noticed that there were like five of the cheerleaders from that like huge group so we're like okay whatever and they were chit chatting and stuff and like we didn't really think much of it so the ride started everything started going fine until like a couple minutes in and these girls started to like become really 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 obnoxious and loud and just like inconsiderate of like everybody on the ride we were annoyed and we were in the very front row and they were like smack dad like behind us so it was kind of just like oh my gosh you know it was different if they were just they just happened to be on the same ride cart but they were literally right behind us like, screaming in their ear and like as the ride kept going on they just became increasingly more loud more obnoxious and at this point this gr these girls were like stomping their feet and clapping their hands and just being so loud and obnoxious i understand like it's disney world everyone is having fun but this was like a kind of um this was like a kind of thing that you would see someone do when they're trying to deliberately annoy someone so they were actually deliberately being loud i can tell it was their t intention to bother everybody else on the ride cart uh, the ride was going on and i saw my friend had turned around and mind you my friend is a hijabi as well she's a muslim and everything and this is going to actually be really important so she i had turned i saw her had turned around and she, I assumed that maybe she was just turning around because they were being really loud and obnoxious, which I understand because I was just like, I was about to say something, but I was like, you know what, it's not worth it. I'm here all the time. If this like time around isn't all that great, then it's fine. I have plenty other times I can go back on this ride. It's not a big deal. Time went on, the ride kept going on. These girls were still being really loud, still screaming, still yelling, still clapping their hands. And one of the girls took it upon herself to lunge forward and cough in the back of my hijab so in that moment i had a lot of things going on in my head is this girl serious <laughs> like did she do this on purpose did she do on accident but i knew subconsciously not even subconsciously i knew consciously that she did this on purpose the reason being is because she actually lunged forward and she coughed and it was like this 
it wasn't like a cough that you would it wasn't a normal cough it was an actual like forced cough hey guys i just wanted to slide in real quick so i wanted to explain like her cough even further just so you have like this image in your mind like homegirl actually like lunged forward and like projectile cough it wasn't like she used her hands to cover her mouth or her sleeve or anything like that like she actually came right behind me right behind my neck okay i could feel it in my neck hairs that's how close she was and she coughed but best believe i did wash my head scarf because i was not about to have her precious germs all up in my hijab like that was not gonna happen so yes i just wanted to further elaborate on that so i just went like this and i lunged forward and i was like oh my god that's disgusting and then i heard her whisper something to her friends i heard that she was up to no good i heard that she was um talking to her friends so i knew she did this on purpose and i'm not the type of person that is you know i try not to think the worst of people but at the same time i knew that this was on purpose and so i was just kind of like i didn't know what to do at that point but even though i heard her saying all these things after she coughed in by the back of my hijab like i still wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt i was like maybe thinking maybe i misheard her maybe she accidentally coughed because i didn't want to go off on this girl and then i totally had got her all wrong so finally what felt like hours the ride finally ended and this ride is probably a good 10 minutes long so it's not like a long probably less than 10 minutes long it's really not a long ride we got off the ride and uh i looked at my friend and i was just like oh my gosh like those girls were so annoying i was telling her like oh these girls were like really annoying like you know and my friend had told me she said you know they were saying some pretty discriminatory stuff towards Muslims. Hey guys, just sliding in once again. So I just want to also add that is why my friend turned around um, towards those girls because they were saying derogatory things. I don't know why I didn't add that in there. I don't really remember what she said, but um, she, yes, she confirmed that they were saying some pretty messed up stuff about Muslims. And then all of a sudden, like, I had this rage of anger and I was just so mad. I was just, like, ready to go and confront these girls. Like, I was ready to, like, tear the whole place up. How dare they? In that moment, I knew that she had purposefully coughed in the back of my hijab. Like, I, everything added up. Like, stars aligned, math made sense, everything just made sense. Oh, my gosh. That was the worst thing that's ever happened to me like i have to like they can't get away with this but my friend like she saw how mad i was getting so she was calming me down she's like it's not worth it zainab like it's not worth it don't even don't even try like don't because you're gonna regret it you're gonna do something that you're gonna regret and you're gonna be embarrassed and you know she finally calmed me down but she calmed me down to the point where i wasn't gonna go off but i was still fuming i was still mad i was almost on the verge of tears because i was just like I wasn't even just upset but I was just so confused at how like people can actually do stuff like that and then in that moment you kind of also realize like dang you kind of almost remember who you are and remember like the world and how the world views you so basically after that uh, you know the the day ended I was pissed my friend was upset um and I can almost it was kind of sad because I can almost see that it wasn't her first time something like this happened maybe not to this degree along the lines of like Islamophobia you know that because she's been a hijabi far longer than I have like ever since I've known her even back when we were kids she wore hijab so I could tell like this is not her first rodeo. I mean, this is my first time. No one's ever came to me sideways because of the way I look or the re my religion or anything like that. And after that, no one really has. But it just kind of put everything in pers perspective. I realized that, you know, the world is not sunshine and daisies and rainbows. There are people who really don't like you for who you are. And I know to some people it's kind of like, well, duh. But if you have never gone through something like this before it is very eye-opening really start to put the puzzle pieces together and it's like damn this is really what the world is and obviously not everybody alhamdulillah like i have not faced anything like this before and maybe if i have i was very oblivious to it because 
I don't really look for trouble. Like, I don't really look for people who don't like me. I kind of just mind my own business. You really have to be, like, deliberately trying to, like, do something to me for me to kind of catch on. There are people who have it way worse. But, you know, I'm going to still wear my hijab. It made me realize that, you know, following your religion isn't always going to be easy. And... I mean, compared to some things that people actually go through, this is nothing. I didn't want to make this video for anybody to pity me. I don't pity myself. I didn't pity myself in that scenario. It just, like I said earlier, it was an eye-opening experience. It was a learning experience. So, you know, it just is what it is. But I thank you guys for watching. I guess I hope you like this video. I guess. I don't know. I mean, you shouldn't really like this video, but... If you like me, you should subscribe to my channel. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next one.